Basically, today is the finale of the Electrolux front loading laundry segment video series uh, that I've been doing over here to much uh, uh, thank you for all of the uh, um, great feedback that I've received on this uh, series. Uh, a little more of a focus on the washers uh, was what I've been doing here, but here they are, here are the 70s. That's what we're talking about today, the 70s, and I can come to you with such great experience and knowledge about the 70s. Um, but why? Because I've owned them for two years and we beat on them. You know, the 70 series, of course, this goes without saying, but I'll repeat it anyways, is going to bring all of those funky things to the table that the 50s and the 60s do. The whole thing that is the foundation of the whole Electrolux line, that perfect balance system, okay, which allows for the second floor installation, which is key, and nobody else in the business will guarantee that. Again, if you saw the 60 series, you know I talked about perfect balance system. They have resonance zone. The machine, the washer, will detect that certain threshold, that certain pocket where things will vibrate and they thrust past it like an airplane would, okay? So they minimize vibration. So yes, this can be on the second floor, it could be in your bedrooms, it's all good that way. It has the luxury lighting inside for the cinematic experience, whatever that's worth. Why would one step up to the 70s? Because now you're talking about for the washer and the dryer, you're gonna be spending probably around, I'm thinking discounted, you know, you're gonna be spending probably about 200 to $300 more a piece as opposed to going into the 60s series. So why, why should you spend that money? Quite frankly, we could break it down this way. In the wash, you're getting 4.4, by the way, this is, and this is not rehearsed. These numbers, all this stuff is coming off. I'm improvising, I'm Coltrane, I'm Miles Davis of appliances, I'm doing it. Uh, no, no script here, folks. I know this stuff, I own them. Um, 4.42 cubic feet in the washer, okay? That's demonstrably larger than what the washer is in the 60 series. You're also getting more RPMs. It's gonna spin faster, it's 1400. What does that mean? The clothes are gonna come out drier. That means less time in the dryer, energy savings. Um, you're getting a slightly different angle when it comes to colors. You're getting, the event here's Silver Sands. Okay, this is what we own. Very nice, I actually, I mean, I love the graphite, or the, I'm sorry, the titanium. Graphite's Maytag. I like the titanium 60s, but the silver sands have presence. Uh, you're, you can also get them in white as well. And to really dig into the 70s, you have to understand the plethora of options and functionality that it offers. Uh, you're going to receive more wash cycles, okay? In particular, and this came up, this reared its head recently with me, you're going to get, it's one of the few washers out there and the only one in the Electrolux series which will offer you a hand wash cycle. That's very important. At least I found that out the hard way. Um, now with the 60s, you can kind of back into a hand wash because what you'll do is you'll, you'll go to delicates, okay? And then um, you'll go to low spin. Don't go to no spin because the clothes came out completely saturated, wet, soaked. Um, so you would go to delicates and low spin. Okay, it's kind of like, it's a hack, but the 70s actually have an option for hand wash, which is, again, it's very important for some folks out there. Um, there are a lot more wash options, drying options. You're also getting three my favorite settings, and these are important because, you know, the 50s and 55s don't have them, the 60s have one, this has three, and why would that be important? Because if you have a particular setting that you want to use, you know, you're gonna have to, as you use the LCD screen over here, you're gonna have to kind of like, um, it's almost like there's a bit of navigation that has to go on to actually get the right temperature setting and the right uh, soil setting and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. What this thing will allow you to do is to freeze and save three of your favorite options to use when washing. So. Um, Again, I'm gonna use my example that I use in the 60 series uh, segment. You know, when I come home from training, I have my gi, okay, which is a very, it's a very heavy gauge cotton uniform that we wear. Um, the thing is completely soiled. I mean, I'm rolling on a mat with people, fighting and this and that. The thing needs to be literally detoxified. So instead of having to plumb through all of these different options on the you know, now it's saved. I pop it in, my favorites, bang, it's done. It's, you know, you might not think it's a major thing, but it is, because you have to scroll through a lot of things to find these settings. And if you have something that's like your go-to, uh, your go-to setting, it's there. It's just, it just, it's about saving you time. Um, so that's very nice, and they give you three. There are different language options on this thing. I believe it's French, Spanish, and English, okay, so that helps. 
uh, perhaps if somebody is, uh, you know, if English isn't the first language in your home or whoever is going to be using this for the most part, English is not their first language, there adds some flexibility over there as well. Um, I, I think like you have to say to yourself, I mean, again, with these, I'm going to estimate these things are probably going to sell somewhere on the 1200s and usually there's a nice fat rebate. I know there was a $200 rebate on them that just ended and I think there's one about to start again. But I mean, if you, if you buy the things for like 13 or 12 something and all of a sudden you take another $200 off the pair, um, I mean, that's, that's quite enticing because these things, are, they're bringing the A game. I mean, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Um, a couple of other cool things. Again, this is also, um, which I actually brought up in the other series, the whole control panel is different. This is wave touch, whereas the other 50s and the 55s and the 60s are going to be uh, IQ touch. And it's cool. Like, you know, much, some people might say, well, this is another thing to break. You're building more electronics into it. You're building electronics into a, a wet product, a washer. I haven't had any problems. I haven't had any problems. Actually, the only issue that I've had um, with the 70 series, actually, I have one of my customers in Scarsdale, um, a sleepy little hamlet up here in Westchester County. Actually, not that sleepy, but um, she had a situation where the door kept unlocking. So there was like a, re like they had to unplug, it happened like three times. You had to take the plug out and then it resets and then she was good to go. That's like really the only hiccup I've heard about these. Uh, and I've sold quite a bunch of them. I've actually been called the king of the 70s series by somebody in the know, which is kind of cool. I take that as a compliment. Thank you. Um, so uh, what else do we have here? You have more, my, you have my favorites, you have more wash options, you have more drying options. And yes, in the wash cycle, you have your teddy bear, or your stuffed animals, and your allergen, and your this and your that. So I mean, it's, it, it's definitely bringing it, as I said before. Um, so really, what it comes down to is, are these, are these different options important to you? Do you want to go, if you want the absolute maximum capacity, and typically the people that are looking for, to max out are those with little ones, because you have just more clothes to wash, and you're, you're doing things that are just going to take up more room in there, and then they'll, they'll roll with the 70s and, and eat the price difference. So that's about it. If there's any questions, jonathanacurtis.com. Happy Thanksgiving to all. Happy Hanukkah as well. And uh, please, you know where I am. It's all good. Thank you.